giving you a voice, making it loud our own way. Welcome, Welcome to, to the fun. fun. First updates now, FRC is produced in partnership with the Blue Alliance. Keep up to date on all live and archive first robotics events and team stats at thebluealliance.com. And by viewers like you. We need your help to keep fun at loud, live, and independent. Help us by visiting our Patreon to pledge your support at patreon.com forward slash first updates now. You can also support fun live on Twitch for a few bucks a month or by linking your Prime account for free and clicking subscribe. Good evening, fellow firsters, and welcome to this week's installment of the one and only Mouse of the South Region Recap Show. Tonight, with a very special and intimate episode, as you can see from the lack of our fellow teammates, Nick and Colin, who can't make it tonight. Thank you very much for spending a few minutes with us this evening. We've got a lot to review this week, including another giveaway, this time courtesy of Rev Robotics. Um, we'll talk about a world record high score. We'll look ahead to a rare southern region citrus sighting. And, of course, your south region top ten. All of that and more in store this evening, so let's get this underway. Reporting for first updates now, I'm Marco. And I'm Michael. So, because free stuff is best stuff, let's start off by learning about what you, our faithful winners, uh, viewers, can win this evening. Tyler? Yeah, if you're watching live, it is once again a Reb Takeover, a giveaway this evening for our South Region. Uh, we're going to be doing the... Man, I always mess it up there. There we go. Ultra Planetary 550 Motor Pinion. Yeah, get your pinions on. That's where it's at. Uh, but guys, if you're not familiar with the uh, awesome family of Neo, family of motors, really great stuff to be had here. Uh, it is, of course, the Brushless Revolution. Nice pun there. Uh, with the Spark Max motor controller, the true all-in-one controller, and the Neo Brushless motor, the motor with the blue banner performance in a small and mighty package. So great stuff there. We'll be giving a keyword a little bit later on for that uh, for you to win. And subs get five times luck. Don't forget, join the fun family and fun nation. Great, thanks so much. Uh, now, let's get right to it. Let's see how teams fared across the region this past weekend as we dive into our weekly recaps. And we begin at the most star-studded of all the Lone Star District events uh, this past weekend. Eyes from across the world anxiously, anxiously awaited the debuts of Mobius by Team 118 Robonauts, as well as that of Revolver by Team 148 the Robo Wranglers. Those two were a sure bet to challenge for a blue banner. Uh, but there were also a lot of other great teams there gunning for their first win of the year, including 54-14 Paradox, 66-72 Fusion Core, and the uh, local team 54-31 Titan Robotics. Adding to the anticipation for the debuts of these great teams was the fact that day one of qualifications saw the field deal with some significant technical difficulties, including the live stream basically being down all of Saturday. So. No doubt many an F5 button gave their lives that day as people kept checking in to see if the stream was finally up. Sadly, it wasn't to be. Um, I do want to give a shout out to LRI Alan Gregory for knowing what the people wanted at home and uploading some videos of some of the matches of those two teams throughout the day that he took from his cell phone and his great vantage point. And also to uh, FTA Rachel Moore, who conquered those technical difficulties via a hotspot on her cell phone to be able to update data from the FMS, which was the reason we saw the occasional updates on the blue lines for match results, rankings, et cetera. So great job by those guys. Um, luckily, things were back to normal come Sunday. And as we approach elimination rounds, it was 148 who was leading the field thanks to some impressive performances and scoring both the most points in autonomous as well as the most points in endgame. And as we all know, if you do the first part and the last part of this game well, you're gonna be just fine. Despite an unfortunate turret decapitation incident in Qual 42, was only a flesh wound, it turns out. Um, and despite having to play three matches in a five match stretch, 148 held on to the top spot as qualification rounds ended. In eliminations, we saw this year's first edition of the Space Cowboys as 118 and 148 teamed up as your number one alliance. The second seed alliance consisting of 6672, 5414, and 7321 Aguila Robotica were also a formidable alliance. So formidable were these two that they actually cruised on through the finals with some pretty overwhelming margins of victory in both the quarters and the semis. In the end, the combined powers of the dark and the light side were just too much to overcome for the number two alliance. And knowing all eyes were on them, the Space Cowboys Alliance gave us quite the finale as they put up an incredible 263 points in finals two, setting a world record high score without penalties. 61 Auton points, 107 Teleop power cell points, 
in both positional and rotational control, because why not? Uh, an incredible performance and a well-earned win for 148, 118, and their Lions partner, 7119. Congratulations as well to Titan Robotics, Team 5431, on their Chairman's Award. Now, before we go on to any of the other region recaps, it, it we, we kind of have to sit here and talk about this uh, this Space Cowboys matchup a little bit more. Um, the, the one thing I want to kind of hit on first is the fact that if any of you guys noticed in the first match that 148 and 118 played together, they actually went on the field uh, without their third robot, 7119, uh, and they did a three on two and still won with over, I think it was 200 point margin of victory in that match, which is incredible to me. Um, I obviously was tuning in to play and I was glad the live stream was up at that point because I wanted to see these two play. And there's a lot of talk about uh, being the first unicorn match. And indeed it was, we saw a one unicorn match and we saw a one match where 118 didn't quite get the climb because they were uh, trying to spin the color wheel to the, uh, which they did get the color wheel, but they just didn't get their climb. So two matches, where we saw all three stages complete and one match uh, where we saw everything being done. Um, anything else you want to add to that, Marco? No, just uh, incredible robots, incredible teams. That doesn't surprise anyone. I got an opportunity to swing by the Plano event for a little bit um, on Sunday and got to see those machines up close, and they're just incredible. Um, great Autons, one one eighteen shot is just phenomenal. You just see this blur of yellow heading towards the target in the course 148 has um, an excellent driver. What's up, Josh? Um, and a great Auton that, that they were just combined together. You knew they were going to come together. You knew they were going to do amazing things. Um, you know, that three versus two match that we were talking about, we were, by that point, I was sitting watching it at the shop and I uh, was kind of curious if that was strategic. Um, so I kind of checked in with some people locally, but it wasn't that their alliance partner just kind of was in need of some repair. And obviously we saw them come back in as, as the matches um, continued into Elims. But just a, a phenomenal performance. Uh, no doubt everyone was... Uh, looking at it, is talking about it, and that's a pretty high bar for these uh, subsequent events and subsequent alliances to try to reach as we move forward with uh, with the season. And chat, make sure you take a look. We got to pull up who is better, uh, 118 or 148. I know that has been a conversation uh, this entire weekend when I was watching game day. We saw all in chat, oh, which one's better? So please make sure you guys hit that uh, and type which one you think is the, the, the better option here. They're both great robots, but it's kind of a fun little little poll. All right, now to continue on to our recaps, uh, where we head to the Channel View uh, district. So on the outskirts of Houston metro area lies Channel View, where we had a free for all for that number one position and valuable district points. Uh, who would clinch that number one position was unknown going into the tournament and fighting tooth and nail for every point was shown through the average of 14 penalty points per match. Channel View saw more penalty points than the other two district point, uh, two Texas districts combined. At the end of qualification matches, 54-27 Steel Talon seeded first with a 9-2-1 record and picked up 324 Chips, the 118 rookie team, as their first pick. Unfortunately for the number one alliance, they would lose the number five alliance in the semifinals, composed of 74-18, the Channel View Techno Falcons, 58-29 Audibots, and 45-87 Jersey Voltage. In the finals, we saw that number five alliance go head-to-head -head with the number two alliance, led by 418 Purple Haze. 5892 Energy Heroes and rookies 8210 Rambotics. In two matches, the number two alliance took home the gold with winning scores of 127 and 177. Congrats to the number two alliance and to the number one seed and chairman's winning team 5427 Steel Talents, Engineering Inspiration Award winners 7494 Circuit Berserkers, and to rookie all stars 8150 Tung Tungsten. Six hours west of Channel View, and not even halfway across the state yet, we head to the Del Rio First in Texas District event. Uh, this week at Del Rio, we weren't sure how the turnout would be with lots of teams and mid uh, with mid-level uh, experience going on. But overall, the event went smoothly and had a great turnout with 26 teams, three of which were rookies. At the end of quals, Team 7492 CavBots, a second-year team, was ranked one and were the Alliance captains for the Del Rio event finalists. We saw a great performance from our host team, 4063, who made it to the semifinals and won Engineering Inspiration, which they have done consistently well over the past few years, and we were very glad to see them keeping that streak. Throughout the elimination rounds, we saw an alliances excelling in double climbs and consistent autos, but ultimately it came down to 2848, the Rangers, 7492, the Cab Bots, and 8414, Science Academy of South Texas, versus 1164, Project Neo, 
2158 Austin Cans, and 7088 the Robo Dogs. The finals played for three rounds, ending with 1164, 2158, and 7088 winning the event. 1164 Project Neo wrote home with the chairmans and a district. Congrats on the Kling Bling. Also, congrats to the rookie teams on their success in being picked during alliance selections. 84 14 was on their finalist alliance, and 80 19 won rookie all star. Uh, we're going to go outside the state of Texas now to talk about the Arkansas Regional. Uh, the natural state was host to 59 teams from many places near and far, all of whom were looking to rise to the challenge of infinite recharge. Heading into the event, the betting favorites to bring home some hardware was the team from Mountain Home, Arkansas, Team 16 Bomb Squad. I know a few of you in chat were waiting for this part of it. However, looking to, say, uh, looking to have a say in the proceedings were solid machines from Team 3959 Mech Tech and 4336 six Ramageddon Robotics, both of whom would end up ranked higher once qualifications were done. As the eliminations shook out, we had the number one alliance, 3959 Mech Tech and 3937 Breakaway, who looked great flying back and forth across the trench all weekend, and 1723, the FBI, comfortably advancing to the finals out of their half of the bracket. Meanwhile, on the other half, it was Bomb Squad, who chose to forge their own path out of the number three hole, who proved that their decision was correct as they partnered with 48 4087 Falcon Robotics and 4576 Red Nation Robotics to upset the number two seed in the semifinals. In the finals, the number three seed took the first match with some impressive shooting, and not even a triple hang from the top seed was enough, as the Blue Alliance pulled off a triple hang of their very own, and, were, and it was a very exciting end to the match. In the end, the three seed pulled off the victory in, uh, in the well-deserved Blue Banners. Congratulations are also in order for 4265 Secret City Wild Bots, on their chairman's award of the event. Yep, great event, uh, great matches to end out the um, Arkansas recap. So um, now that we're done with the recap, let's take a look at who you guys voted as the top teams in our region after this past weekend's slate of events. So taking the number one seed, um, 118 Robonauts, uh, right ahead of their alliance captains, 148 Robo Wranglers, who's ranked uh, number two this week, in the number three position, it is that very team from Mountain Home, Arkansas, Bomb Squad, Team 16, followed by Chips, 324, the rookie team from uh, 118. Number five is Paradox, uh, 5414. In the sixth spot, High Voltage. Number seven for the week is Fusion Core. Number eight, 418, Purple Haste. In the ninth spot, 5892, Energy Heroes. And rounding out our top 10 for the region is 5431, Titan Robotics. Um, I'm really excited to see uh, Energy Heroes end up on this list. They were um, a really good robot at week one in Greenville and uh, saw that they ended up, uh, they bettered that and were Blue Banner winners um, last week. So glad to see that they get a little bit of love here and get on the top 10. Yeah, along with that 5414 Paradox, I was glad to see them. They actually hosted us uh, two weeks ago uh, at their shop. We went, drove from Austin to Houston and they were kind of uh, allowing us to use their field. So I'm very glad that they... Uh, got good use out of the field and showed up in that top 10. Yeah, they had a, a really nice robot. They had a really nice uh, mechanism that allows them to go back and forth and, and balance out. So um, the top three, no surprise there, and, and got to see some other teams round out these these top 10 for this week. So remember, guys, it's up to you who makes it onto our South Region top 10, so make sure you cast your vote each week and get the teams you love recognized. Um, so now for more fun stuff, uh, why don't we go ahead and start our giveaway. Tyler, tell us how these wonderful people can win. Yep. Once again, we're going to be doing our uh, our whole thing from Rev Robotics, the uh, the takeover that they have here today. And uh, for this one, we're going to be giving away a uh, pinion, uh, which is the uh, Ultra Planetary 550 Motor Pinion. So if you're interested in uh, winning this and the awesome part of the brushless revolution uh, that Rev has been bringing, just type in pinion in chat, and that's your keyword to win. Don't forget, subscribers get five times like the win. Guys, if you haven't joined Fun Nation yet, by the way. You can do so with, through a free sub if you got Twitch Prime, just a few bucks a month, uh, either on Twitch or at patreon.com forward slash first updates. Now, not only do you get five times luck on giveaways, you're obviously supporting us. We need your help to stay loud, live, and independent. Uh, but every giveaway that goes unclaimed and our subscribers can vouch for this goes into our secret channel for our subscribers only where you get an opportunity uh, to win any unclaimed giveaways. And it happens uh, 
probably about 30% of the time. So great opportunities for that as well, too. Uh, it's our way of saying thank you uh, for that as well. Uh, but even if you can't, guys, any way you can, spread the word about fun. Let people know it's a place to get their awesome content uh, that we have. It's been a very busy, busy week with uh, event cancellations going on left and right, but we're still here doing the best we can to create some great content for you. So once again, Pinion is the keyword type in the chat. Good luck, everybody. I see some of you saying onion. Make sure it's pinion and not onion. <laughs> Onion's kind of great too, but no, it's pinion. <laughs> well, good luck to everybody in chat. Uh, let's take a look ahead here at the action we'll be seeing this weekend. We'll start off in the Oklahoma Regional, which is shaping up to be an extremely deep event. 49 teams at the regional will be visiting um, from Texas, Missouri, and even Mexico. That Mexican contingent includes heavy hitters 4635 Prepatech Botbusters, who was a finalist alliance captain in week one at the uh, Monterey Regional. This will also be their third straight week of competition, and they're looking to make their run for gold. Also making the trip up from Mexico Lindo y Querido are teams 3478 Lambot and 6647 Prepatech Boltech. Uh, Missouri is sending week one, week one semifinalist 5801 CTC Inspire, while week one finalist 624 Kryptonite from Texas take a break from the Texas district life to get some more practice and tuning in before their second district event. Meanwhile, there's a strong group of Oklahoma teams looking to defend home turf, including defending champions 4005 Hostile Gato Robotics, while another cat themed team, 5930 Lunar Kitties, are coming off a subdivision finalist performance and will look to impress at their only event this year. Finally, keep an eye out for potential dog forces 3931, the Cockadoodle Dominators, and 2723 Team Rocket, who struggled in the endgame at their first event, but is rumored to have completely worked their climb and feel confident heading into this, their home event. The chairman's race is certainly a tight one as four teams at this event won the award last year. The Bot Busters, 932 Circuit Chargers, 2341 Sprockets, and 2723 Team Rocket. The regional is pretty wide open, so watch closely to see who will make a run for the gold. Heading back to the great state of Texas, we'll see the first edition of the Fort Worth District event, which will be held at Southwest High School. Uh, in what I believe is the smallest fit district event this year with only 27 teams competing, it will no doubt pose a challenge for all teams as they're bound to see several one or two match turnarounds throughout the course of the event. Looking to make an impact and continue the strong seasons are 1477 Texas Torque, double gold Klingbing winners in week one with their consistent autonomous and shooting. Also challenging for a banner are 4610 Bear Tex, who came up just short against that 1477 alliance in week one, and they're hoping to get their first blue banner since 2018. The list of teams at this event that hope to improve upon what they achieved in their first event includes 4206 the Robo Bikes, who found their shot towards the end of Greenville, 3005 the Robo Chargers, who rode their disposable hangar feature to a semifinals appearance, and the rookies that have already rebranded between week one and two, 8055 Boss Bots, who are competing for a third straight week no doubt hoping that the 62 district points that they've amassed proved to be enough for a trip down to San Antonio in a few weeks. The field is deep with mid-level teams, and that is often the recipe for some really great elimination matches, so looking forward to seeing how this one plays out. And then uh, on to New Braunfels District, 31 teams are competing there. Um, 20 teams have already competed, so we get to see a lot of second place for these teams. Uh, the event is being hosted by a third-year team, 7264 Cougar Robotics. Um, some of the teams that we're excited to see and have will see the, for the first time include uh, Michael's own 6800 Viper Bots Valor, um, 3679 Rattlers, who had a really consistent climb that they showcased at the Del Rio event, and 3035 Droid Rage, um, who were the winners, I believe, of the San Antonio District event last year. We have some other teams that um, we're excited to see, 3481 Bronk Bots and Rosbot Rottweilers, that uh, will have a thing or two to say before the event is all over. Uh, Michael, over to you. All right, thank you very much, Tyler. I believe you have our producer Tyler had something to say real quick. Yeah, so, so we, we might in. have some unfortunate breaking news that uh, uh, there it is quite possible that our teams from Mexico may not be attending. Uh, it does appear that uh, we're being informed that various teams in Mexico are not being allowed to travel to their week three events due to their high schools canceling international trips. Uh, so if your teams are affected, we'd like to hear about it. Uh, but we've been, we, I, I got some things uh, a few days ago about it. Um, but I gained some more confirmation uh, that uh, it does look like our teams from Mexico, there's a very good chance they may not be attending uh, the Texas events. All right. Thank you very much, Tyler. Very unfortunate. Uh, but I, like Tyler said earlier, we're going to keep cranking through here and uh, presenting what, what we have. So uh, moving on to the Amarillo District. Uh, the Amarillo District event is set up to be a bit of a redemption event for 3310 Blackhawk after they were ousted in the quarterfinals of the Greenville event. 
33-10 was picking up momentum through that event, but it wasn't enough to allow them to continue their blue banner streak. This event will also feature another robot that played a prominent role in Greenville as its 2468 Team Appreciate that will be looking to repeat their blue banner performance up in the panhandle, along with their sister team, 2687 Apprentice. Local boys 1817, the Robo Raiders, and the 4717, the Robo Lobos, are also back in action and will look to improve upon the results of their first event. 418 Purple Haze is also coming out of a win at Channel View and hoping to start a streak of their own. Not all the teams will be there for their second event, however, as this will be the first glimpse we get of 6144 Angel Bots Gold, who were the finalists at the Plano event last year. Amarillo is going to be an event to watch with powerhouse teams looking to leave the panhandle with some hardware. Last but not least, we hit the St. Louis Regional. Uh, 1678 Citrus Circuits visits the Show Me State this weekend and will look to build upon a strong start to the season as they look to round into Einstein shape. Everyone will be looking at this event with eyes on their robot as we see what secrets they have in store and, they, and they've no doubt iterated on their week one performance. Also making the trip for the event are 302 The Dragons from Michigan, looking to improve on their performance at the uh, first in Michigan Macomb event. And the most airline miles award goes to 6404 Brazilian Storm, who will be making the trek all the way from uh, Sao Paulo, Brazil for this event. Not sure if that's still happening or not, but uh, yeah, not sure. Overall, it looks like a strong race for second, assuming Citrus shows up and does their Citrus thing. But no doubt, plenty of teams have upsets in their mind, and it should be a great event and will uh, be lots of fun to watch how everything goes down. I mean, guess other than the catastrophic failure, is there any chance Citrus like isn't just dominating this event? I mean, looking at looking at the field on here, I mean, it, I mean, compared to their first regional, this isn't even close in regards to competition strength. Yeah, I agree. Uh, additionally, like they didn't run their 10 ball auto either, or at least not to my knowledge. So I have a feeling they have some crazy autos they're about to pull off. Um, seeing how events have been going with auto and climb dictating how the event goes, uh, no doubt 1678 will probably be leading out of auto almost every match. I'll give a shout out to a team they might be able to pair up with. Ratchet Rocker 1706 has had very strong performances in St. Louis uh, the last few years. I think a little bit of hiccup last year, but uh, if they're going to pair up with the team. I know you mentioned the Dragons before, but I could definitely see 1706 performing quite well uh, as well. Yeah, that'll be definitely exciting to see uh, what goes down this weekend in St. Louis. And that, not just there, but all of our events going on. Um, we're almost done here, but before we head out, let's see who our lucky winner is. Yeah, so we'll draw for that uh, opinion once again, and our winner of that is going to be Cuddle King. 865, congratulations. Of course, a subscriber. It's been subscribing for a really long time, so you know what that means. Lots of rigged emotes in chat. Uh, and thanks again to Red Robotics for the uh, awesome set of giveaways. If you're watching live, still got a couple more in our next shows as well, too, so stay tuned. All right, folks, that's going to do it for us this evening. Um, if Colin and or Nick are your favorites, apologize <laughs> ahead of time. Uh, but thank you for hanging out with Michael and myself tonight. Thanks to everyone who took the time out to join us. Um, don't forget that we will be accepting submissions for clips of the week. So please post a Twitch clip you've seen or a short video in the fun Discord by Monday at 5 p.m. Also, if you see a team out there that you feel deserves the recognition and acclaim of the FRC community, don't forget to cast your vote for them and see if they can crack the FRC top 25 next week. Let's see how many of these amazing Mouth of the South region teams we can get on there. Thanks, everyone, for hanging out. Fun needs your help to stay loud, live, and independent. Consider giving us uh, your support by joining Fun Nation with a subscription or bits on Twitch, becoming a Patreon at patreon.com forward slash first updates now, or just letting people in first know that this is the place to be to get the information that their team needs. Don't forget to check us out on just about any of the social medias of your individual preference, including Discord, YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and live on Twitch. On behalf of myself and Michael, our producer Tyler, I'd like to thank you for tuning in and thank you to our moderators in chat. If you're watching us live, then up next for your viewing pleasure is We the North. Talk to you guys all next week on the Mouth of the South recap show. Thanks for watching. If you want more fun content, be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos. You can also directly help support fun by visiting our Patreon at patreon.com forward slash first updates now or by subscribing at twitch.tv forward slash first updates now. Thanks to all of our co-executive producers on Patreon and Tier 2 Plus subscribers on Twitch keeping fun loud, live, and independent.